Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well and staying safe during this kind of um, interesting and crazy time that we are all experiencing right now. I want to share a devotion with you uh, based on the prayer and study guide that we have sent out this week. Um, today's passage of scripture comes to us from Psalm 91. So I invite you to hear these words with me today. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High God will dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge and my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with His wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrow that flies in the day, nor the dread, nor do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. He will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. You know, I've, I've been doing a lot of dwelling. <laughs> it reminds me of the, the first verse in this. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow or dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust Him. But, uh, but I've doing, been doing a lot of dwelling. Um, physically dwelling here in my home, not really going anywhere, just kind of staying put, staying in place. I think my dog is in heaven because I'm, I'm around all the time now. Um, but still working from home, still sending out emails, texts, calls, Zoom meetings, um, staying, staying, staying busy with a lot of a lot of different things for the church, but I'm finding myself just kind of dwelling here at home, and I'm not only physically dwelling, but I've also kind of found that I'm starting to dwell a little bit on my anxiety. When when I was a kid, um, I was scared of my curtains. I know you guys are probably gonna laugh at this, but um, my curtains weren't like the normal curtains that you see now. Like they weren't the ones that come on either side of the windows. Um, but these curtains were, um, they went across the top of the window and they were kind of baggy. They had some substance, some, some kind of stuffing in them. And when I would lay down at night as a little boy, I would look up at the curtains and I'd just see the shadow of them. And it looked like a face. And I remember at first I wouldn't be that scared. It would just kind of look like a little scary little face. And then my mind would start going and I would start to tell myself a story about the face and how the, the face was evil and how the face was out to get me. And, and I would kind of work myself up. I would kind of dwell on my fear and anxiety. Ultimately, my mom ended up just taking the curtains down because I think she got tired of me um, being scared of them. But, but I've kind of found myself uh, doing that in this time, kind of dwelling on my fear and my anxiety. Um, not really been able to, to sleep as well as I used to at night. And I think Psalm 91 is the perfect psalm for us to look at during this time, during the season that we find ourselves in. We're told to not dwell on our fears, to, but to dwell in the Lord and to place our trust in God. And so I want to invite you to, to read through this psalm 
maybe when you are starting to experience some fear and anxiety, I hope that these words can be a comfort and a hope for you um, in the way that it has been for me. And so I want to continue to just encourage you to, to reach out to us. Let us know how we can pray for you, how we can lift you up. Um, maybe we can even give you a call and reach out and speak to you um, as well. But uh, we're thinking about you. Uh, we love you. And um, we're going to get through this. Um, so stay strong. Don't dwell on your fear, but dwell in the Lord.